Hey guys, it's Tyler. Um, I'm here to give you a beginner's tutorial on modding Xbox 360 games. First, I'm going to give you a little warning. When modding game saves for large franchise games such as Halo 3, Gears of Wars, uh, Call of Duty, um, they will they have a built-in patch which is downloaded on Xbox Live to play the game online uh, that is automatically able to corrupt all edited game save files that give an unfair advantage to a player. To avoid this, when you edit your game save, play offline. For example, if you want to play a Call of Duty World at War's Nazi Zombies game uh, with super jump and a million experience points per kill, you would edit the patch and you would play offline. Okay, You would edit your game and then uh, disconnect from Xbox Live by either pulling out your wireless device, pulling out the Ethernet cable, or signing into an offline profile, and the patch will work. Uh, and secondly, there's only two f main files needed to edit a multitude of games, uh, and these files include Modio and XTAF Explorer USB, which transfers and re uh, and unencrypts the files from the Xbox to your computer. Very user friendly, and I will leave the links to download the files, which are safe, in the uh, description bar. Um, so let's get started. You're going to download both files in the game, and once they're downloaded, you're going to follow exactly what I'm going to show you now. So um, here's my computer my school schedule in the background. I don't need any more since it's summer. But uh, first I'm going to show you the first thing you need to do. So you're going to grab your USB. You can buy them anywhere. But I don't know how large they have to be to hold a memory for your Xbox. You might want to check on xboxlive.com for that information. Buy your uh, USB. Here's mine. Okay. And you're going to plug it into your computer. So I don't know if it's going to do anything this time. But... Sometimes a window pops up when you plug it in. Yep, there's a window. And it reads Xbox 360. And it, if you click on it, there's nothing you can do. There's no files you can edit. But, um, yeah, so you can exit out of that. Once your USB is plugged in, you're going to open up the first file. It's called the USB XTAF Explorer. Okay? So this is the file window I have up now. It's in a folder. And you want to click on this top left one, this top right one. Okay? So double click on it. And this window pops up. Very simple. This is looks a little complicated, but it's very user friendly. With your USB in, uh, you need to actually first thing you have to do. First thing you have to do when you get your USB, plug it into your Xbox. Okay, click configure to Xbox 360, and it will configure automatically configure your USB. Then you go into your game, any game you want to edit, such as Borderlands or um, I don't know Call of Duty, and then save the uh, game onto the USB as opposed to your alternative save device, like the hard drive or the, uh, the uh, memory unit. Once it's saved on there, take it out of your Xbox and plug it into your computer and then follow this. So after you've saved the game file onto your USB, and you, you open this file, this USB XTAF Explorer, and you click File, Open Device. Click, all right, so first thing you'll see is this. It says Content. I don't know if you can, how well you can read that. But it says content. Click on it. All right. And these, these, the next thing you'll see is a long series of numbers and letters. Uh, the f depending on which order your game if profiles you've saved on here are, you'll click on that. So let's say this is this first one is you. This is your brother, and this is your sister. Um, the order in which you've transferred them to the USB is the order they will be in. So uh, these three, these other two are my brothers. This first one I saved onto the USB before them is mine. So I'm going to double click on it. And these are all different games. Okay, the way you know is uh, what game it is, is each one has a unique different game save in it. So I'll click on this one, and it says save 263 uh, Warblade the Mall. This is uh, a game save for Fallout 3, which you can mod. And I'll show you how to do that later. So click on the game you want. I'll, I'll open this first one, and you'll see another number. Click, double click on it, so you get to the save games. All right, this you'll be, you'll know when you get to the save game, the game saves when you can't, when you keep clicking and nothing happens. Okay, so this is for a Borderlands game modding, which I'm gonna uh, first thing you're gonna do is click on the game save that you want to edit. All right, save 0001.sav, which is this file, and click extract. All right, once you extract it. You save it. Save it onto your computer anywhere. It helps to know uh, use the desktop because you know it's more easily accessible. But um, I'll just save it anywhere. Then once it's saved, okay, open up Modio. 
you'll know this you'll know what module looks like because it's got a big M in the top left hand corner. Okay? You can make an account uh mainly for the modding, but it's not totally necessary. So once you're in this this program, you're going to click the big M in the left hand corner and open file. Uh click from computer or where and so now you can select the file you just saved onto either your desktop or your computer. So I'm going to type in uh, save 0001. Typing with one hand is hard. All right, and then open it. Once it's open, this window will pop up. This window is for. Um, it, it looks complicated. Just don't get overwhelmed. Nothing. It's it's very user friendly. Everything is self explanatory. But I'm just here to help you along. Okay, so this first one, the first button you want to click on is right here, mod file. It's very simple. So all you have to do is click mod file. Alright, this little window will pop up now. And this, and, and every uh, every time that you have a different game save for a different game, Fallout 3, Call of Duty, whatever, this little window when you click mod file will come up and, uh, and it'll look different because you can edit different aspects of each game. So for Borderlands, you can edit player XP, total money, ma a player level, skill points, and there's different selections. Like here it says advanced, and then there's advanced coding. Um, but this is the user friendly version. So I'm going to click back on my Borderlands, and after I've modded my file and I click save, I'm going to click rehash and resign right here. Makes a little noise, and this will change to the change. Uh, but click rehash, resign, and then um, all you have to do is go back into this. You uh, this delete. Go back into the USB XTAF Explorer and delete the file you just the the file that you saved extracted before. So your save 0001.sav will still be there. But you're going to delete it right here. Okay? Then once it's deleted, you're going to inject it. Inject the file you just modded by injecting it, finding it on our computer, save 0001, type it in, you know, just type random just typing random stuff to give you an example, and then click open. All right? It'll show up in here. This little bar, will, you know, this little loading bar will fill up and then it'll be done. It's it. That's all you have to do. Sometimes if you want to check, click the two little dots right here at the bottom and then go back into it. And make sure the files are still there. And then all you have to do is pull your USB out and put it back in your Xbox and everything will be good. Remember to play offline if, if the games you have um, have patches. Borderlands doesn't ha has a patch, but uh, it only works to an extent, meaning I can edit, still edit, edit stuff and play online, which I love to do. Um, and that's the beginning tut beginner's tutorial on how to mod a game saves. Now if you want a little more advanced version and you want to go a little more in depth and you don't feel like modding your own file and you just want to find an already modded file, stay in Modio and click open, uh, click, go to the big M and click download game save. It's the, it's, I don't know how well you can read that but it is the fourth one down. Click on download game save and there we go. And you want to go to, the, and this window will pop up. Go right here to the search bar and type in any game save you're looking for. I already have Modern Warfare 2 typed in. Um, and so I'm going to type in Modern Warfare 2 and then a bunch of listings are going to come up. All right, all these things. You can ch click on a game save you like. Let's say I, I like this one. Like here's, uh, this one's for a modded save, you know, Super Jump, Aimbot, Laser Sights, all that stuff. Um, you're going to click on it and then go to download. All right, once you download it, I have to sign in to have it downloaded, but once it's downloaded, all you have to do is put it back on your USB by f locating it on your computer on open file. Okay, open the file, open the game, save, you have saved. Okay. Then go back to the, um, open it in the rehash and resign. Rehash and resign it, and then put it back over here in your, uh, XTAF Explorer. That's all. Okay, so basically, follow everything you did for to mod your other file, but instead of using your own file, you just use the game save that, that you downloaded from Modio. Um, and that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Be nice, you know, thumbs up, whatever, do all that stuff. If you want to request for certain games on how to mod, send me a message. I'm all ears. And um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, happy gaming.